Introduction Analgesia is a loss of sensation of pain that results from an interruption in the nervous system pathway between sense organ and brain. Different forms of sensation, e.g., touch, temperature, and pain, stimulating an area of skin travel to the spinal cord by different nerve fibers in the same nerve bundle. Therefore, any injury or disease affecting the nerve would abolish all forms of sensation in the area supplied by it. Thus, it is possible for certain forms of sensation to be lost, while others are preserved, in diseases that affect only certain areas of the spinal cord. Because pain and temperature sensations often travel the same path, both may be lost together. The drugs that are most commonly included here are, namely, phenacetin, acetophentidin, and paracetamol acetaminophen, known in U.S., paracetaminophenol. Background Phenacetin, a painkiller, was the world's first synthetic pharmaceutical drug. It was one of the first painkillers that was not derived from opium while at the same time being absent of anti-inflammatory qualities. Phenacetin was developed in 1878 by an American chemist, Harmon Northrop Morse. It was introduced into the pharmaceutical market in 1887. Prior to World War I, Britain imported phenacetin from Germany. Structural, molecular formulae, and relative molecular mass of phenacetin. Phenacetin is an odorless fine white crystalline solid with a lightly bitter taste used as an analgesic medicine. Phenacetin is slightly soluble in water and benzene, soluble in acetone and very soluble in pyrimidine. Human ingestion of phenacetin can result in a bluish discoloration of the skin due to a lack of oxygen in the blood causing dizziness and respiratory depression. It is reasonably anticipated to be a human carcinogen. Mechanism of Action Phenacetin's analgesic effects are due to its actions on the sensory tracts of the spinal cord. In addition, phenacetin has a depressant action on the heart, where it acts as a negative enotrope. It is an antipyretic acting on the brain to decrease the temperature set point. It is also used to treat arthritis. It is metabolized in the body to paracetamol, which is also a clinically relevant analgesic. Structure Activity Relationship SAR of phenacetin and acetaminophen can be summarized as follows. Aminophenols are less toxic than corresponding aniline. E-therification of the phenolic function with methyl or propyl groups results in the derivatives having greater side effects than with ethyl groups. Substitution on the nitrogen with such groups that decreases the basicity and also reduces the activity of the drug. Indications Phenacetin was used as an analgesic and fever-reducing drug in both human and veterinary medicine for many years. It was introduced into therapy and was extensively used in analgesic mixtures until it was implicated in kidney disease, nephropathy, due to abuse of analgesics. Phenacetin also was once used as a stabilizer for hydrogen peroxide in hair bleaching preparations. Dosage Analgesic mixtures containing phenacetin were previously marketed as tablets or capsules containing between 150 and 300 mg phenacetin. Common combinations were, 150 mg phenacetin, 230 mg aspirin, and 15 or 30 mg caffeine, or 150 mg phenacetin, 230 mg aspirin, 30 mg caffeine, and 8, 15, 30, or 60 mg codeine phosphate. Phenacetin alone was also available in 250 and 300 mg doses as tablets, and up to 500 mg doses as powder. The usual dose was 300 mg 4 6 times per day, and the daily dose was not to exceed 2 grams, IARC, 1977-1980. From aniline. Piaminophenol is obtained by treating aniline with sulfuric acid and potassium hydroxide, which on acetylation with acetic anhydride yields the p-hydroxyacetanolide. The resulting product on ethylating with ethyl bromide forms phenacetin. From P-nitrophenol P-nitrophenol dissolved in sodium hydroxide solution, is subjected to condensation to ethyl bromide and the resulting P-nitrophenidol is reduced to with suitable reductant. The P-phenetidine thus obtained is acetylated with acetic anhydride to yield the official compound. 
Hazard Summary Phenacidin can affect you when breathed in. Asterisk Phenacidin is a carcinogen handle with extreme caution. High levels can interfere with the ability of the blood to carry oxygen causing headache, fatigue, dizziness, and a blue color to the skin and lips, methemoglobinemia. Higher levels can cause trouble breathing, collapse and even death. High exposure can even cause coma. Exposure to phenacidin can cause an allergic reaction with rash and itching. Due to high or repeated exposure red blood cells are destroyed causing low blood count, anemia. Phenacidin may damage the liver and kidneys. It is an analgesic and an antipyretic with similar effectiveness as paracetamol. Irreversible kidney damage with prolonged ingestion of phenacidin has been established which ultimately resulted in complete withdrawal of this drug in many countries. Chronic Health Effects The following chronic, long-term, health effects can occur at some time after exposure to phenacidin and can last for months or years. Cancer Hazard Phenacidin is a probable carcinogen in humans. There is some evidence that it causes bladder, urinary tract, and nose cancers in animals. Many scientists believe there is no safe level of exposure to a carcinogen. What is the reason behind the discontinuation of the analgesic agent phenacidin? In the United States, the Food and Drug Administration ordered the withdrawal of drugs containing phenacidin in November 1983, due to its carcinogenic and kidney-damaging properties. Reproductive Hazard There is limited evidence that phenacidin may damage the developing fetus. Pregnant women are at greatest risk from chemicals that harm the developing fetus. However, chemicals may affect the ability to have children, so both men and women of childbearing age are at high risk. Preventions Do not eat, smoke or drink where phenacidin is handled, processed, or stored, since the chemical can be swallowed. Wash hands carefully before eating, drinking, smoking, or using the toilet. Use a vacuum or a wet method to reduce dust during cleanup. Do not dry sweep. Workers whose clothing has been contaminated by phenacidin should change into clean clothing promptly. Do not take contaminated work clothes home. Family members could be exposed. Contaminated work clothes should be laundered by individuals who have been informed of the hazards of exposure to phenacidin. Eye wash fountains should be provided in the immediate work area for emergency use. If there is the possibility of skin exposure, emergency shower facilities should be provided. On skin contact with phenacidin, immediately wash or shower to remove the chemical. At the end of the work shift, wash any areas of the body that may have contacted phenacidin whether or not known skin contact has occurred. Clothing Avoid skin contact with phenacidin. Wear protective gloves and clothing. Safety equipment suppliers slash manufacturers can provide recommendations on the most protective glove slash clothing material for your operation. All protective clothing, suits, gloves, footwear, headgear, should be clean, available each day, and put on before work. Eye protection. Eye protection is included in the recommended respiratory protection.